Namaste. This is going to be just a few shoulder stretches um, that will relieve usually pain and tension in the shoulder joints, often even the wrists, the neck, if done properly. Um, you're just going to have a seat somewhere comfortable with your feet flat on the floor and your spine upright. So I don't really want you plopped back in a couch. If you're on a chair, more than likely kind of scoot forward to the front edge of the chair, put your two feet flat on the floor and sit with your spine tall. Right, so tall means my shoulders are up over my hips, right? Like I'm doing my wall work, which I have videos on. You're also gonna want a strap. If you don't have a strap, like a, just a towel works, a dog leash, anything you can hold on to. And we're gonna start with a tricep stretch. So you're gonna take your, your strap or your towel in your right arm and take your arm up to the ceiling. And again, you guys, you go as far in the direction that I'm asking you to without feeling like there's tension in the joints. So you might not get all the way into the position. You just go again as far as you can without feeling like you're compressing. So we want to feel sensation, like muscles are stretching, but not lack of space in joints. So arm comes up, and I'm going to bend my elbow and just let that strap or prop kind of plop or hang behind me. I want to take my second hand, and I'm actually going to adjust, adjust my own arm. So it's, it's not just a pulling in. I actually want you guys to feel that this bone, I talk about this often, this humerus bone, rolls in like you're rolling your bicep use, use your other hand and roll your bicep back and your tricep forward so you're taking the bone in the socket and you're turning 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 so you're trying to get that elbow more more kind of dead ahead then from there you're going to take the top of the elbow if you can reach and you're just going to push back so we want to feel the stretch in the tricep kind of the back of the arm Right? And be mindful that, that the head stays neutral. So a lot of times we tend to kind of tweak the neck. Keep the eyes gazing dead ahead. Feel your breath. And we want to feel the stretch in the tricep. So just go as far as you can manage. Be mindful not to displace the spine. So another thing a lot of us do when we're stretching the shoulders is because the shoulder doesn't want to stretch, the spine arches. The ribs kind of poke forward and I'm not sitting on my sit bones anymore. So use a little bit of core awareness to keep the rib cage stacked over your pelvis so you're not displacing the spine. Take two or three more full breaths, recommit to the rotation in the arm, the rolling in, and that will plug the shoulder down into your trunk and give you more space and release in the neck. And then when you're ready, that second arm is now gonna come behind you and grab a hold of the strap or towel wherever you can reach. So you've got two hands on the strap. You're going to walk your hands towards each other as much as you can manage. Continue to feel that top arm bone, not just squeezing in, it's a rolling. It's the upper arm bone is spinning, rolling. Look at my head. Look at that while I do it. Try to keep your neck center. And then be mindful of the back arm, you guys. So you want to feel that the shoulder head, that's here, the shoulder head, move back. So it's not so much I'm pushing my elbow back, but my back shoulder head, the kind of the ball in the socket, moves back. And again, without displacing the spine. So here we are, we're gonna take five more full breaths. If you've gone too far, it's gonna feel like compression and it's gonna feel like you're not able to breathe. So just go move into the shape as much as you can in the moment, still being able to take deep, full breaths. Let's take three more breaths here, in and out the nose if you can. Two more full breaths, mindful of the neck. And a head position. And one more full breath. And then gently release. Maybe shake it out if you need to. And second side. So we'll grab a hold of the prop, the, the strap or the, the towel. Bend the elbow, kind of let that hang behind you. Use your second, your free hand, to not only pull the elbow into the middle, but it's, you usually get more release in the shoulder joint when it's a rotation of the bone. So you're rolling this in, and then you're pushing back. And both sides may be very different. Just go to the extent that you can on this side, feeling like it's a stretch in the tricep, kind of the armpit area, and not tension in the shoulder. Feel the weight on your sit bones, the spine tall. Notice that you're not burying your head. So the chin is lifted, kind of parallel to the floor. And mindful that you're not allowing you guys, often when we push back here, the, the, the shoulder doesn't want to let go. So instead the back arches. So pull the rib cage in, try to keep the rib cage stacked over your pelvis, that, that wall work or posture. 
Take three more breaths in the tricep to stretch. And two more full breaths. And when you're ready, second hand will come behind you, grab the strap and walk your hands towards each other. So get the hands as close together on the strap as you can manage on this side, maybe very different from the other side. And if you guys don't need the strap, some people can just touch hands. Not better or worse, this is what it is. You can grab your own hands and get rid of the strap. Now mindful on the back arm, you guys, most of us tend to over push the elbow back and then the shoulder head rolls forward. I wanna actually allow my back elbow to move forward slightly so I can feel the shoulder head, the ball and socket, roll behind me, right? So it's a shoulder stretch. Shoulder stretch in the back arm, tricep stretch in the top arm. Three more full breaths, mindful of the spinal alignment. And two more full breaths. And then final deep breath here. And release, shake it out. Okay, let's do one more. We don't need a prop for this one. So right arm's gonna come out in front of you and you're gonna flex the wrist. And you can even pull the fingers towards you, get a little bit of a wrist stretch here. And then you're gonna just with the other hand, you're gonna guide that arm across the midline. So you wanna feel a stretch in the, in the outer kind of deltoid or shoulder. Mindful that you're not actually pulling the shoulder head forward. That's gonna compress in the neck and shoulder, but the shoulder blade is back on the back like you're doing wall work. And you're just bringing that arm across the middle. And some of us will stay here if this is enough. Some of us will go into a little bit deeper of a yoga stretch where we cross the elbows and we try to press the back of the hands together and even interlace. So either the back of the hands are pressing or if you can wrap around and interlace, you do. So either one, you hold and breathe. If you've got this whole wrap here, go Mukasana, we call it arms. You're gonna lift the elbows and drop the shoulders. So it's not one or the other, it's both. If I do one more than the other, I get compression. Again, my elbows are going up and my shoulders are going down. My forearms are pulling forward and my upper abdominals and rib cage are pulling into my spine. It's a big stretch across the outer shoulders, the outer deltoid, the upper middle back. Three more full breaths wherever you're at. Two more breaths, mindful of the spine and the deep breathing. And then final breath and release. Shake it out if you need to. Second side. So we'll start with just that simple, simple shoulder stretch. Arm out in front of you. Give it, a, give it a little wrist pull as well. Pull the fingers back, the wrist back. And then the arm comes across the midline, right? So you're bringing the arm across as far as you can without feeling like you're actually pulling the shoulder forward. So the shoulder blade stays back as if your spine's on a wall. That way we get the stretch across the outside of the deltoid. This might be enough for a lot of us. We stay right here. If we want to go into that deeper yoga shoulder stretch, which is called Gomukhasana, or it's half of Gomukhasana pose, you cross the elbows, the back of the hands come together. And some of us, this might be it for today. No big deal. If you can, you interlace the hands or whatever you can interlace. Again, feel the elbows lift and the shoulders drop. So those two things happen at once. Elbows up, shoulders down. Deep in your breath, in and out your nose. The forearms pull forward away from your face as the upper rib cage and abdominals pull into the spine. So it should feel like a stretch across your outer shoulders, upper middle back. Three, four more full breaths here. Two deep breaths and out your nose. And then final breath. release. Shake it out, you guys. How are those shoulders and neck feeling? Remember, go just as far as it feels like you're getting a certain amount of sensation and space. The breath can still be deep and free, but you're not feeling compression. And if you're not sure, you guys, it might be too far. If it, if it feels like it could be compression in the joints, it's probably a little too much. Back off a little bit and you'll get more out of it. Sometimes less is more. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.